Chief of Package Design Magazine, I speak with some of the most brilliant thought leaders in the design, branding, and marketing of consumer packaged goods. Through the generous support of our sponsors, we bring these experiences to you. This video series explores what inspires these thought leaders and their insights on the collaborative design process as a strategic business competence. I'm Linda Casey, and this is Package Design Matters. We're in beautiful, sunny Naples, Florida at the Package Design Matters Conference. And we're talking with Tim Hankins. Thank you for having me. One of my sort of personal phrases that I, I, and I, and I tell my, my team, uh, the design team uh, a lot, is that you have to keep trying. Mm -hmm. Because if you, don't, if you don't just at least try, you're not going to fail. And the only way that you learn is through that failure. Those, mm -hmm. the, those failed moments end up actually providing so much more information to you than if you were to succeed the very, on the first try. And so, um, yeah, I, that's why I'm always trying to learn new things. Like, just get out there and, and, and <laughs> it's more or less like get out there and fail. Because it'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll help, uh, it'll, just, it, those, it'll just become a huge teaching moment. Life becomes a teaching moment. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then what's worth a thousand pictures? A prototype or a mock-up? It must answer questions like, how does the product work? How does it feel in your hand? How does it communicate the brand experience? A print is just a flat image of an idea, but the true experience is always three-dimensional. Who thinks like this? With so many CPGs, they're right now kind of struggling with the whole idea of um, moving from designing for retail shelf impact to designing for the screen, whether it's a computer screen or more and more often now the mobile screen. Mm -hmm. But you actually had the opposite kind of trajectory. And so, um, you know, what learnings can you share? Um, what we want is we want the product to jump off the shelf at, at retail or our website and we want people to leave that product out. And in doing that, if we can get them to do that, um, we hopefully will then capture new customers because someone will visit a, a friend's house and see it out and be mm -hmm. like, oh, what is that? If they haven't heard of us. And, um, and hopefully it's because of you know, how beautifully designed we've, we've created or, or, or because of the beautiful design we've created. And, um, in doing that, we just create a group of ambassadors for the company, and the, and the product actually mm -hmm. becomes an ambassador for the company. That's so true. You know, you're it, you're essentially package design can become marketers, ambassadors to the company. It's not just about creating a, a beautiful, pretty package, and that's why it's so important that it's part of the marketing mix, because then you have essentially junior marketers yeah. in every one of your um, one of your brand fans. And you you know, I use the word fans because. Uh, it's a common word in social media, and yeah. I don't know if it's by intention. Maybe I should be asking you that question, if it's by intention or if it's just been organic. But Honest has really resonated with um, heads of households that are of a uh, younger generation. Mm -hmm. And um, these designs are just so infinitely shareable on mm -hmm. social media. Yeah, I mean, a, a, a good amount of... Um people at Honest are actual our parents and so uh, we're you know we're not 
I wouldn't say we're incredibly young, but we're still, we're not uh, very old either. So we, you know, we're, we're in it, in, you know, in the mix. And we, we kind of treated ourselves as our target market in a way, because we're designing for younger parents. We're designing for younger um, professionals. And um, we, we really just kind of try and tap into that and to like our, our initial approach to the, to the design was we didn't want to be another brown and green eco company. We wanted to be a little bit more fun, a little bit more vibrant. And, um, you know, hopefully we've accomplished that. <laughs>
of course, you know, that, that didn't happen. But one of my, my sort of dreams was that I would, um, you know, one day I'm going to be a, you know, a platinum selling musician. I'm going to get a platinum record. And um, that didn't happen. But then when I got into design, I ended up uh, getting two platinum records through the work that I did with Disney because uh, the car soundtrack sold extremely well and the Cheetah Girls sold like crazy. So um, I've now got, you know, two platinum records because of that. Yeah, that's awesome. You ended up with two platinum records in your portfolio, but not the way that you expected it to be. No, not at all. <laughs> no. We live in a fast changing digital world. Dynamic communication and social expression influence just about everything we do. Business is digital. Impact is instant. Brands and customers interact in amazing new ways. From postage stamps to packaging and billboards, HP's graphic solutions business is leading these transformations, creating innovative digital print technologies that enable more effective, engaging communication between brands and end users. So at our conference, Todd Henry talked about um, allowing, you know, allowing white space for innovation, allowing room for innovation, and allowing, you know, allowing things to grow and having that kind of patience and being, and really not expecting. So Todd Henry talked about not expecting every thing you do to be a rousing success. Because if yeah. you do that, well, all you do is end up with mediocrity. And yeah. that you, it'll level itself out. And so that's real important to accept the valley so you can have the peaks. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the, the things that's um, an important part of the process is if you, if you're feeling uncomfortable in it, you're probably in the right place because you're, you're challenging <laughs> yourself. And mm -hmm. um, if it's a cakewalk every time, then like, where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe a stronger idea can lift an entire business? Or that a single insight can spark new ways to succeed? At Bemis, we believe there's always a better way to boost consumer demand, stand out on the shelf, or create a deeper brand experience. Today, we strive to see the world as you see it. And when that happens, there's no limit to where you can take your packaging or your business. And being able to keep your team happy requires so much discipline on your part as far as being a leader, being able to let them explore and not to hover. I mean, that's yep. a huge amount of discipline. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's definitely a challenge because, uh, you know, as 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 the team grows, it, it becomes even more challenging. But um, because you do, we we still want to make sure that everything is in line with what we we sort of mm -hmm. set as the tone for the for the brand. And occasionally, there will be things where, like, you know what, we, we got to try something else because um, mm -hmm. I don't think this is working. And and that's okay. I mean, yeah. you, you gotta you gotta have those moments. So. Um, and again, it's like you, you just learn like, okay, well maybe that wasn't, that's not the right take. So let's, mm -hmm. let's try something else. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you're okay with that because in, when appropriate, it's okay to take risks. Yeah. I mean, if it's happening all the time, then we, now we have the something to it, talk about. Yes, <laughs> it's a teaching moment. Yeah. But if there's, you know, it, if they're few and far between, then that's, that's great. Yeah. So, um, so I, I try to also give people ownership of what they do. I don't want to be a hover, like a hovering person. Mm -hmm. Like I'll, I'll um, insert myself when needed or requested, but I'll also give people their space to work. Cause again, like they, I'm also very much a person who doesn't like it when <laughs> you've got someone hanging over your shoulder and you know, like, oh, well, you know, how about we try this? <laughs> how do you, how do you work with groups outside of Honest? Um, you know, whether it's a design agency or a partner supplier, mm -hmm. how do you work with them to make sure that you're getting the best innovations? Um, yeah, I mean, we work really closely um, with our outside vendor. Excuse me, our outside vendors. Um, on the design side, we, we we work really closely with our printers. Um, we have um, a, a printer who deals with all of our, our folding cartons for our vitamins and for a handful of other products, toothpaste, and um, 
basically all of our bo our, our smaller boxes. And so um, we're always asking them, like, well, how can we how can we pull off this effect with this material? And we'll work really closely with them to, to figure out a solution. And um, the same with uh, like the printers of our labels. And um, I'll, I'll maybe come up with an idea and present it to uh, the product team and be like, I don't know if we can pull this off. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. And uh, it's like, all right, well, let's get the printer on the phone and I'll give them a call and be like, okay, I'm sending you a file. Take a look at it. This is what I think. Can we do it? And um, sometimes it's like, that's gonna be really hard. Or <laughs> sometimes it's like, yes, let's do it. And um, and then in, in other instances, it's, well, you know, I'm not really sure. Let me get back to you. <laughs> and um, we we'll usually, we figure out a way like we uh -huh. to, to accomplish that goal. That's and the best advice you have ever received? <laughs> Probably. Don't let your ego get in the way. Because it's, um, egos are fragile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can be, they can be hurt very easily. And so, um, you don't have to, like, yeah, don't take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> and so I see some themes throughout our conversation. Patience, understanding, mm -hmm. discipline, and questioning and growth. So I, 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 you know, I think also having a child has helped with patience, <laughs> for sure. Um, and you know, the introduction of a child into into our world. Um, I think just watching him be inquisitive and ask mm -hmm. how things work. Um, I think you can take those sorts of things and apply it to your to your own, you know, your own design work or like. When you look at, you know, the great variety of products that you've designed packaging for, what is the one project that you are the most proud of? Um, I, I, I don't know if it's a great answer, but I hope I haven't done it yet. <laughs>